Hi everybody, welcome to a new series. Welcome back to Prison Architect. I've played this before. Uh, I did a one-off on this. Um, it was about a month or two ago now. We did uh, Supermax 3 million. Uh, it was a one-off. It was kind of a longer video, uh, and I got up to the point where I built a couple of things in, uh, in my prison uh, or whatever, uh, but I didn't continue on from there. Uh, but we're back. This is going to replace Don't Starve, which is just finished. It just finished. I did a playthrough of Woody. Uh, if you haven't seen it and you're interested in Don't Starve, uh, you can check it out. Uh, otherwise, uh, maybe you'll like this instead. We're going to make a new prison. We're going to make a new prison in Prison Architect. And uh, the goal of this series, this sort of uh, medium length series, much like, uh, like all the other series that are coming out on my channel, sort of recently. Uh, they've sort of had some sort of goal uh, to work towards to get to, uh, and then we stop and move on to something else. Uh, so let's do that for Prison Architect as well. We are going to try our best to create uh, everything that we can, and maybe even execute somebody if, uh, if that becomes a possibility. But if not, simply having all of the buildings and all of the different types of staff and stuff like that might be something sensible to aim for. Uh, or, of course, unless we get to the point where it's just so boring that nobody wants to watch it anymore, uh, and then we can stop it there. We're going to create a new prison! Hooray! We're going to create a small prison, uh, just in case, uh, because I, I want to create a large prison, but I've got this feeling that it'll get completely out of control uh, and that we'll lose. Uh, and actually, while I'm on the topic of that, it is quite possible that the prison will be uh, overrun by prisoners and we'll lose the game. That might also be a sensible place to stop the series, if if that were to happen. I'm not saying that it will happen, but what I am saying is that it's likely to happen because uh, I am bad at this game. Uh, we'll try anyway. All right, Fog of War will leave on. Generate forests. A uh, cluster of trees will appear on your land. Well, why not? Do we want trees? We don't need trees. We can plant our own trees. We're going to plant our own trees in our prison. We don't need to generate uh, forests. We'll pretend that a team of lumberjacks turned up to the site of the prison. Uh, we bought the deeds to the land uh, as a uh, correctional facility administration firm, um, SIPSCO Correctional Facilities Incorporated, and, uh, and the trees were all cleared out uh, ahead of us turning up and building the prison. Okay, fine. Fog of War, we will leave on. Small prison, uh, great. Can we rename the prison? I think you can eventually, maybe, um, when you hit play, possibly. There we go. Day one in uh, prison. Small prison one. <laughs> I think you can do it uh, here, possibly. Let's read the CEO's letter. Okay, thanks, CEO. Let's delete it. And let's also make sure that prisoners don't turn up in 23 hours. Uh, very important because uh, we have nowhere to store them right now. So let us close um, our prison to normal risk prisoners. Uh, and we'll do some prisoner intake once we've built some stuff. Fine. Uh, we have a couple of workers on staff. Great. We have no jobs at the moment. And uh, we have some grants that we can take out for some more money. We have 30 grand uh, right now. Uh, but it might be nice to also uh, take out uh, a grant for an additional 30 grand uh, because we will be base building sorry, a basic detention center. Look at that. We get a 20 grand advance payment and then a 10 grand completion bonus. Uh, we're going to turn an empty field into a functioning prison. Uh, this is going to be great. All right, let's do it. We've got it. We have taken the basic detention center grant. The grant advance has been, look at that. We have 50,000 big ones in the bank now. This is fantastic stuff. Okay, great. Uh, look, all of our dudes are here. They've arrived on site. They're unloading all of the uh, necessary materials to build our prison, including a box of cabbages. We have uh, now a box of cabbages to aid us uh, and to keep all the workers uh, super trim and super fit while they're uh, building the prison. Okay, fine. All right, let's do some planning. That first thing that you always must do when you play Prison Architect is plan how your prison is going to look. Uh, and also uh, take objects such as doors. I liked, when I was playing Supermax 3 million, I liked the idea of this road gate. And now I just need to remember, okay, so it's quite big. Uh, we're gonna need two on either side there. So we can start the wall from two. Okay, fine, perfect. Lots of planning to be done. We will start the walls here and here. So the walls for the outside of the prison will go like that, which means that we can then have more pathway here. This will be like a road that comes into the prison. We'll have this road that comes into the prison. Uh, we'll make sure that there's a path uh, 
along the side here too, because um, eventually we'll probably dig trenches and fill them with lava uh, to make sure... <laughs> no, I'm just joking. You can't do that. No, it would be good. I mean, it would be such a deterrent. I don't think any prisoners would ever try to leave uh, if that was the case. Okay, uh, let's have... We'll have pathways there. We'll make the building sort of like in uh, and amongst this, like sort of like this. Great. Uh, we'll make this our, our big sort of maintenance uh, building. This will be where we'll have a generator and we'll have a uh, water pump in here. And hopefully that'll fit. I hope that's big enough. Uh, maybe we need to make it a little bit bigger. Let's uh, let's remove that stuff and just make it go back a little bit more. We'll make it go back a little bit more. God, this is great planning. What, what a good plan. Uh, okay, uh, that's fine for now then. This wall will extend up this way a little bit more. Uh, and then uh, over here, I guess we can have... We need like some sort of intake area. We need like an intake area for the prisoners. They'll turn up, uh, they'll arrive at the prison, and then immediately they'll be put into a holding cell. And then from there, uh, they'll be moved from the holding cell into like other areas of the prison and stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. Let's get some foundations built. We're going to get some foundations built uh, for this maintenance room for 1,540 big ones. Look at these guys. They're already, look at, they're carrying girders. They're, uh, they're also stocking up on cabbages. They're stuffing those cabbages into their coat pockets so that they can nibble on them gently while they're building the foundations for this, uh, this building. Good work, guys. Good, good work, everybody. I'm leaving it on slow just for now while I'm planning and stuff. And then once we've got most of the plans set up for how the prison is going to be and how the intake area and stuff's going to... Oh, shit, I did not want to do that. Uh, then we can take off, uh, or we can, sorry, we can we can increase the speed. We'll increase the speed later on. Okay, let us make uh, some sort of holding cell then. A holding cell is where the prisoners uh, will first um, come into the, we'll have a double door for the holding cell. And we'll make the holding cell quite big too. We'll make the holding cell big enough uh, so that it can fit quite a few guys in here. And then also we'll have another uh, double door that leads out into probably some sort of yard. Uh, this will be some type of yard here. We'll have some walls. This will be like a pretty big yard, I think. Uh, and then off the yard, that'll lead into maybe cell block A, which could be like down here. We're also going to need like a visitor center and some other shit, but we can build that all like up here. And then we can have like a secure hallway that sort of leads. It'd be cool if you could have like a bridge over top this road that's going to run right down the middle, but I don't think you could do that. Okay. Fine. Uh, another thing that we can build then. We don't need to build the foundations out there. This is the cell, bl or sorry, this is the holding cell. So we need a foundation for this. This will just be like wire fence or whatever. And actually, we could probably do that now. Look, I think it's in. Where the hell is it? Is it in. Is it. Op no, it's materials. Okay. God, it's been a while since I played this. You're going to have to bear with me. Oh, look at this. We can actually remove tunnels. There's been a lot of changes. It's got to be said, there's, they're, all, they're constantly updating this game. Apparently, the latest one that they've added is taxes. They've added taxes. Um, but already, there's like some, some kind of weird stuff that I haven't seen before, like emergencies. Apparently, you can call in a fire engine or riot police or, or paramedics in case there's, uh, there's been some sort of like fatality or whatever. Interesting stuff. Good to know. All right, let's make a fence. We're going to make a fence around here, around the yard. This is just going to be like a chain fence so that uh, when people come to visit the jail, they can laugh at the prisoners knowing that they're fully safe from being stabbed or shot uh, by the prisoners because they're behind a chain fence. And you and I both know, as does everybody else, that nobody is going to mess around uh, with a chain fence. I mean... Uh, uh, me, certainly, I would never mess with the chain fence. Okay, let's put a staff door here. We're going to have a staff door for this maintenance uh, room. And we're going to have a, a large jail door here and also here. Great, okay. Once those doors are placed, then it should open up the uh, room. And then we can actually get uh, our power and water set up. Uh, and then we can start actually... Uh, maybe thinking about uh, intaking some prisoners and holding them in this big holding cell. Um, we're going to hold them in there all together. We're going to have to build all sorts of stuff in there, like a private bathroom. We're going to build a private bathroom so that they can go in and they can take a dump in peace and all the other prisoners uh, won't look at... Look, I think we can actually go a bit faster now. Look, already. I'm already cutting corners big time. Uh, what are we going to call this place? Uh, can we even rename it? Where, where do I name my prison? I, I, I did not get the chance to name my prison. This makes me sad. Is it like uh, here, regime? Does it, does it come in here somewhere? Hello? What is the name of my prison? I want to call it de detention 
Detention Center X. Maybe you can't. Maybe I just have to pretend and keep calling it Detention Center X. It's kind of like on the Ninja Turtles. Remember Dimension X? No, we can call it Detention X. Fuck, I think that's a great idea. I mean, if you think that that's a bad idea, I mean, don't hesitate. Contact my lawyer and let him know. But for now, let's just roll with it. Let's just call this, we'll call it Detention Center X, a futuristic correctional facility for only the biggest and baddest inmates. Shit, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. To me, that is fantastic. All right. Let us uh, not delay. Let us get a power station. We're going to get a power station down in the corner here uh, in case people need to run in and do some... Uh, some emergency maintenance. Let's also get a couple of capacitors. Look, we're gonna get three capacitors built right alongside it. We're gonna have to run some cable to connect up the buildings as well, which is not a problem. Uh, let us also get a water pump station. We're gonna get a water pump station in here too. Oh, look at that. We're up and running. Listen to the hum of progress. We can hear progress humming away. Let us get uh, some stuff into here. Look, we'll run cable right under the yard too and just hope that nobody t tries to tunnel out of the yard uh, and accidentally um, slam their shovel into that electrical cable. There's a lot of volts running through that cable and that would, I think, cook them up like, a, like an egg. It would fry them up like an egg. Uh, upon immediate impact of that shovel. Uh, which, I mean, if everybody was out in the yard enjoying themselves, they'd probably laugh, because prisoners tend to like that kind of shit, like uh, like the misfortune of other prisoners. I mean, I've watched a lot of TV shows in the past, and that seems to be a common theme, so I'm going to just assume that that is uh, a realistic part of life in jail. Maybe not, though. All right, there seems to be enough lights. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit sort of, I like to see, look, I like to dismantle all the lights once they've been placed because I don't always agree with the placement of the lights. I like to d dismantle them. I like to store the lights and then I like to replace the lights manually. So you'll probably see me doing this a lot uh, during the course of building Detention Center X. But it has to be done. I think it has to be done. I, I'm all about things looking nice. I mean, so far, so good. Look at this. We're, we're, off, to one. we're off to a great start. Look at it. We've already got a yard. Uh, I mean, we can even actually designate this as the yard. Look at this. And actually, building a yard is part of uh, our basic detention center uh, goals. Look at that. We have a yard. Fantastic. Uh, and look, it's been crossed off here usefully. Look at that. I love that. I love having like a list of things to do and you cross them off when you finish. I just think that's the best. Uh, holding cell is not quite done yet. I mean, if I click on it, it should tell me what I still need to do. Uh, but it, it doesn't. I, I, I thought that it did for some reason. I think actually, if we say, uh, where's holding cell? Holding cell is right here. If we designate this room the holding cell, it'll tell me what I need. That's how it works. Look at that. See, now it's got holding cell. Uh, but uh, we need a toilet and a bench for it to actually be classed as a toilet cell. A, a toilet cell? A holding cell. I'm sorry about that. Okay, let us make then, uh, look, we're going to make like uh, some really spiffy um, bathrooms, okay? We're going to do this. Look, we're going to have like some walls that come in like this. Look, look at this. We're going to have toilets. We're going to have toilets all along the back of the holding cell here. And, and it's going to be really utterly fantastic. Uh, so let's do that. We're going to have uh, some brick walls built here to separate. So it's just so that these clowns, when they need to do their stuff in the holding cell, they're not watching each other and just being ridiculous and perving on each other. Because we don't want that. We don't want these prisoners um, being being silly <laughs> in the prison. That's one thing we will not stand for. We're gonna get lights in each of the bath. Look at how many bathrooms. Can you believe it? Look at all of the bathrooms. It's great. Uh, everybody is going to be able to take uh, nice sensual dumps in peace inside this holding cell. We're so humane in Detention Center X. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, we also need a couple of beds too. They need to have some beds in here apparently. They need to be able to sleep whilst in the holding cell or else they get very cranky and they start trying to kill each other, which is something that we really cannot stand for. Let us therefore get a couple of beds. Uh, we're gonna get uh, some beds just up in the corner here. Or maybe do we want them down here? Maybe we want them like like here. Uh, these prisoners are going to be pretty angry uh, straight away, actually. Uh, it's got to be said, unfortunately. 